All right, what are we doing on this gorgeous sunny day? Today we're going to be moving on to the living spaces side of the house, which is very exciting because we're transitioning from our 8 foot ceilings and we're getting into what's going to be our 10 foot ceilings. This is probably going to be the trickiest because we're going to have a few headers in here in order to span the openings between the front door, this little kind of uh, shelving space or piano space that we have over here, the hallway, the laundry room is just going to be a straight up wall, and then we need another opening for this little nook area over here. All right, which battery should I use from my arsenal of batteries? Whew, that is one heck of a header. This wall is going to be a doozy. Well, look at those fancy knee coverings. <laughs> what they... I figured I might as well pull them out and put them on since yeah. we keep getting a lot of comments about uh, wearing knee protection, protecting <laughs> the old knees. Are you having some trouble with your pencil there? <laughs> it's getting so small that I'm having a hard time getting it out of the holster. That's what she said. Sorry, you walked right into that one. Yeah, I guess I did. I have to uh, get myself a longer pencil pretty soon. <laughs> you just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> My boots are in the video.
The problem is, is it's going to be very top heavy. Yeah. You have to lift this piece all in one. And that is not going to be easy. Well, whose idea was it to have 10 foot ceilings over here anyways? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess whoever thought of that didn't think of how we would get the walls up in the first place. <laughs> We just had a surprise rainstorm that passed, and we're back to work. <laughs> we're almost ready to lift the impossible wall. Yeah, I think that was the last piece. All right. What is going on over here? This is how we're gonna raise the wall. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. So the wall is too heavy for us to both lift by ourselves. And it's not so much that we couldn't support the weight of the wall between you and me. It's that because of these header boards, yeah. It's too top heavy. So as we try to raise it, and this wall is 10 feet tall, um, it's going to be way heavier at the top and it's going to want to keep falling back. So what I have here is a pulley system that I've rigged up. This is going to make it easier for us to lift the wall. My anchor point is right here up at the top plate of this wall over here. This was going to be the strongest point based on how the house is designed. I've got it going over the top plate on that side. And what that's the purpose of that, why I have it draped over the wall, is so that it's actually going to be lifting up on the wall and pulling the wall up. So this is the main pulley right here. This is allowing us to get twice the amount of force by using the tractor. That's what's going to actually raise the wall. The other pulley that I have over there is just to allow us to redirect the force back over to this side of the house because there's walls in the way over there. So instead of having the tractor on that side, we can use the tractor to pull from this side and it's just gonna redirect the force over to this pulley. So as you can see, this line down here, it's um, very low to the ground. It wouldn't provide a lot of lifting force to the top of the wall, which is why I have the lines draped over the top of that wall over there. So these are at about a 45 degree angle, which is actually gonna provide a lot more upward force on the wall which is going to allow us to lift the wall up into the air so i don't really know if this is going to work <laughs> um in theory it should so we're going to give it a shot lily's going to drive the tractor tractor operator just back back up that's going to provide the force i'm going to stand here and safely guide the wall into place and once it's up and in place, then I'll go ahead and secure it and nail it down. Where's the key? I got it, right here. Thank you. All right, so just steady back. Try not to jerk it, nice and slow.
I wasn't expecting that to happen. I don't want to do that ever again. We'll probably have to do that for all these walls because they're so tall. Oh. blocks and pulleys for the win. <laughs> well, we got it up. We wanted to have a little bit more done today, but i um, pretty happy with where we are now. That was a doozy.